All right, so as you're seeing this video, I've already finished the game. As you can see, the new game plus is there. I, uh, I'm like kind of speechless right now because I just finished it. And I'm doing the intros afterwards so I can kind of combine everything when I edit. But I got to say thank you all for supporting this series up to now. We got this video and then one more, and that'll be it. So love you all. Thanks for all like support. Let's go ahead and get this. Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. Also, I'm so glad we got some light because I couldn't see anything. So we got absorbed and now we're here. This is definitely the... This is definitely going to be one of the highlights of the series I feel like coming up. Appreciate all you joining me up to this point though. They're an amazing game. If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. But if it was magic that caused the blight, what of the Mother Crystals? I expect he'll turn us soon enough. I remember the first time I ever played Final Fantasy VIII and I got to the very, very final boss. And I just remember the vibe you kind of get when you fight final bosses in most games is a little different from Final Fantasy final bosses because these are more like drawn out and epic because the entire story depends on what happens here. And I just feel like right now I got like some kind of 
story driven chills going on. <laughs> this is definitely hoping everybody makes out here live. We'll see. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us. One beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow. Valisthea. There would the true work begin. For the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution, the illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits. And where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. Follow, we shall. For now. Kind of just sitting back watching this because it's like we're going a little bit further each time and then we get some dialogue and a little bit of story. So, it's like we're just kind of watching the movie together right now. I think after such a long series, I'm just happy that I made it to the end of this game because I knew it would be a long journey, but the, I don't know, the entire game has just been fantastic. To forge a new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his god's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource. And the land, she wept tears of black. You would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind. Just... unwilling to admit. 
admit the truth. But we are one and the same. Depending on how this ending goes, this might be my number one game of the year so far, but I think RE4 is still there just because, I don't know, such a memorable game, you know? But this story-wise is the best narrative game I've played in years, I feel like. wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. My friends, my family. We have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed. It may be broken. 
But it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. Alright, fighting Ultima. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Completely missed, oh no. Here we go. Some health pack, maybe. Mark of the Storm, oh my god. I was trying to like dodge at the right time, but I guess you just can't really time that. Oh, I forgot about the... I'm probably dead here. The gravity materia type stuff, I forget all about those. Might do a lot, we'll see. Nice try. Nice try. How did I dodge that? I have no idea. I think if I was to die during any of these last fights, or however many there's gonna be, because all these have different phases and stuff, I'm probably gonna take off the Odin icon, just for a little bit. Such foul intent may not be sublimed through game standing. Only with heads hung low is penance paid. Oh, wretched mortals, incapable even of contrition. Event Horizon. In That's a cool name. Season, shall we our harvest? <laughs> I tried to time it again, it didn't work. There's so much going on. Way too far away, maybe. No, got a little bit. I feel like I'm probably gonna down this fight. I'm not doing a lot of damage, and I don't have a lot of heals left. Oh, that was 
a lot, though. I'll take it. Ricochet. Oh, God. I guess I could just keep this out no matter what. Maybe it makes a difference. We'll see. Oh, come on. Barely got that off in time. Every time I pop that, it doesn't help. I'm getting cooked. Oh God, go on. <gasps> Died instantly. What in the world? All right. That's fine. All right, I'm not sure if I can do this. Won't let me change my icon in mid-fight. Oh, no, I can't. Well, you know what? It is what it is. There we go. Okay, so it respawned through the fight, got everything back, even the elixirs, nice. Oh, there's two attacks there, there we go. How much did I just keep this out? That does so much damage. All of all, you can just kind of just do like chip damage, chip damage, and then if you want to do this, you can as well. There we go. As I'm sliding, it's still doing it. Alright, so far, this is going a lot smoother. Only because I died and got everything back, and it spawned me kind of inside the fight where I had already done damage, apparently. Mark of the Storm, okay. That could be enough to stagger. I just kind of wonder how much the tornado would have done had I had that equipped. You know? Wait a minute. Gifted this chance. And still you would raise your hand against the Lord. What now? The darkness bends. to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Your fate is an Deliverance. Oh my god. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Blue mess right there. Unto us. I'm like trying to dodge and it's just not working. Alright. Got enough to get it. All right. Dancing still. Times four. Big damage time. 
Nice. I think he's behind me. This fight is in pain already. Time to get that at least. This is it gonna hurt? That does so much damage. And the fact that it's like a basic attack too is kinda nice. Horizon. Oh, what? It's like I just got caught up in everything. The I got caught in the vortex. I don't know. That's interesting. Your Where's the spawn? Okay. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us. I have to just be very patient with this fight. I'm getting kind of over aggressive, I feel like. I got all my health back. There we go. Okay. Let's go, baby. If you get a perfect parry and does that, that's actually in the day. Back up, because every time I get over there, I get destroyed. Deliverance. Time, let's get it. Too far away, Brad. What are you doing? Ooh, it hurt. Might stagger, actually. No. Always a whiff right there. Joshua's put a lot of damage too, that's funny.
frost bolt. Oh no. But I dodged that. Alright, I might just back up here because every time I get near this, it hurts me. Ricochet. Let me just. Eternal darkness. Get some HP back, come on. I cannot we've actually got that off. Tell you this is like one of many phases. I had a pop an elixir there. Almost died. There we go. Ultima Vanquish. I'm not. I'm not sold that that was it though. There's no way. Fifteen thousand XP is a lot though. The Pole of Darkness, dancing still. Really? Increases the rate at which. To, okay, twenty-five percent is a lot. generations have we awaited this moment. have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. Somebody save me. Won't anybody love me? I 
yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just go away. None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother? Remember who you are. Clive. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched. And the Phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless he has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are there wills? Truly so potent. Are you still talking?
damn it, Clive. Wake up. That... That... Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place... Eh? Once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken? And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. So the crystals are no more, yet in their silence a new song rings, its chorus building, a crescendo as it enters its final movement, stirring those long aslumber to waking. And back to their origin. Bloody crystals cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clyde! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you, Anon. Thank you.
That has so much to unpack. We destroyed the last mother crystal, though, so... I don't know. Um... Not sure where you go from here. Return to the hideaway. Let's go ahead and head back over here. Alright, back to their origin. I need to tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. Alright, progress on certain There's quests is temporary and limited. Okay, I'd imagine until the end of the game, right? Here we go. Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. Is this everyone? As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well... The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canberra is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way, from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pools. Corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. RK above. Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the Halls of Origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Eh? Thank you.
All right, back in control yet again. Speak with Joshua. All right, give me like a little bit. I'm either going to transition or end the video here. I'm not really sure yet. I don't know if Joshua's right there, but I need to, need to put my daughter to sleep. She's been crying for me. I can actually hear her like downstairs. So anyways, love you all. Hang tight. Either I'll continue or this will be the end of the video. Either way, I love you. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. All right, peace. All right, sorry for the weird cut. So I was actually going to stop and then I realized uh, after editing that, well, I wanted to keep playing. So <laughs> here we go. Speak with Joshua. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken, as long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy, it may take generations, centuries of suffering, and that is if everyone plays their part, but it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes? I'm still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. He 
speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. And has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Oh, wait, I think I can. Hold on. Let's go through here. Here we go. All right, speak with Jill. I took, uh, I took my daughter, put her to sleep, uh, brushed her teeth, all that stuff, and then laid in the bed and watched SpongeBob for a little bit, made spaghetti, and now here we are. <laughs> here we go. Come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why well, I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right. Won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. All right, we got this like kind of front. I guess I can look at these really quick. The reading table. Man, we're so behind. Hold on. I'm just gonna kind of like let heed request. Sure. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. Let's go ahead and just. I want to check all these out really quick. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'll. Kind of leave it on screen for a second so you can pause it. I can always go back and view these after I uh, finish. I feel like this is the last session of this game I'm going to have. All right, from Sid. Okay. What are these other ones? Hold on. Humble request. I'm not going to do everything. Not yet. Oh, my God. It goes all the way down. Yeah, let's just wait. Okay. I'm getting sidetracked. That's stuff I can do after. There's too many important things going on. All right. Make for origin. Can I buy anything? Let's see. Oh, hold on. We can craft. Wait a minute. Trouble with your gear, or what's that for? What you got gear? for me? Oh my goodness! There it is. Okay. And we're using the behemoth shackle. Interesting. My best work, but it'll do. Uh, okay, we need still silk, which I guess I could get that. Is, is it really going to matter, though? Three HP and three defense? Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and get this one. You can thank me later. That it? Nice, a little bit of upgrade. Fine. Wasn't expecting that. Clive. Go on, then. All right, now we're going to go ahead and, I guess, just buy consumables at this point. You'll not find a I've been kind of going through that. them. I struggled a lot in the last couple fights. You'll not find a better price than that. Go ahead and buy this, too, just in case. You're rubbing me blind, you know. All right, here goes. Make for origin. There's so many spots in the game we've been to. It's actually insane to see, like, all of it now. Here we go. It. 
Clive, if you see me dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Well, behave yourself, Mitt. We'll see. So, you're in charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? I shall pray for your safe return. That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Tyre. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or, at most, two. Any more and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that's never stopped me before, so just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That'll be well. Mm. If that is all? Not quite. Jill. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. <laughs> and you. You take care of her too, boy. Don't forget, Clive. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. I know. I love you too. to kill.